guys, so today's video is going to be the fastest Sephora haul I've ever done in my life because I didn't buy that many products at the VIB sale and like at all. I got seven items. I didn't really go ham at the VIB sale this year. I don't know why. Honestly, I think it's because it kind of caught me off guard. I had no idea the sale was even going on. I could have sworn the sale was in November, but this year it was in October and I managed to snag these items on the very last day of the sale. And honestly, one of these items, I don't know why I bought it. I don't know why I bought it. It's a it's very random, very small little Sephora haul. So uh, let's get into it. So I'm not sure if this is a new product or not, but when I read the description, I was like, yeah, I need that. I really, really need that. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Brightening Hydrogel Eye Patches. And honestly, this sounds amazing. It says it visibly helps brighten and improve the signs of aging around the eye area with Future of Vitamin C. The patches unleash the strength of THD asorbate. I don't know what that means, but it says it's an ultra stable scientific breakthrough ingredient that's 50 times more powerful than the traditional vitamin C, which sounds freaking amazing. It's boosted by vitamin E and fair acid and these patches are supposed to brighten the skin help reduce the look of darkness while improving the appearance of fine lines wrinkles and crow's feet oh, and that sounds like a dream I'm almost I'm almost 29. This product also has caffeine in it, which I really, really loved, and that helps firm and reduce the look of puffiness. And yeah, it's supposed to make your under eyes look brighter and more youthful. I used it today for the very first time, and I did notice that when I took off the patches, my skin felt like a little tighter. I don't know, I don't know if it was like a placebo effect, but I swear I felt like my under eyes just looked better and they felt better too. So I cannot wait to continue to use this. I love that the patches are actually double-sided and you can use like the fat part on the inner corners, and that helps with with puffiness and wrinkles or you can use the fatter parts like on the outer corners and that helps target crow's feet which sounds fabulous to me so I hope I really love this I mean so far so good another skin carry item this is the super goop cloud 9 and honestly I buy anything super goop launches it's my favorite brand for sunscreen I freaking love all of their face products their body products I am a die hard super goop user and this is their 100% mineral sun balm it has SPF 40 and this is what it looks like it's just like a you know, a bomb. <laughs> it's a pocket friendly formula and it says it leaves your skin feeling like it's on cloud nine and you can use it wherever you need some serious protection, soothing and nourishment, but definitely don't forget about spots like your ears and hands that may require a little TLC. I never put sunscreen on my ears. At least I don't think I do. I mean, I'm sure I get some on my ears while I'm rubbing it on my face because I do put it like all over my face, but I never think about like putting sunscreen on my ears. I have to pay more attention to that. I had to pick that up because I just love super goop items. And this is actually really nice to just throw in your purse and add to your skin and not even just for like sun protection. This is a really nice like balmy feeling that can help like your knuckles, your cuticles. It looks like something I would really, really enjoy like on my hands and stuff. Okay, so I love testing out new foundations especially stick foundations for some reason and Huda Beauty just came out with the full filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick I was a little bit skeptical to try this I'm not gonna lie because Huda Beauty has always been like a very in my opinion like a very full coverage extra glam kind of brand and I haven't been a fan of her foundations in the past actually her first foundation was nice I mean it was super thick super full coverage like cake but it was really nice like it did have a super flawless finish but it did break me out and it smelled extremely strong so I was a little bit hesitant when buying this but I thought you know what let me give it a go. And I picked mine up in the shade Toasted Coconut. It's just a hair too deep for me at the moment, but I mean, I can make it work. It's the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now, and I actually really enjoyed it. I applied it with a brush on one side of my face, and then I used a beauty blender on the other side. And I would say this foundation has like a medium to full coverage. It is pretty buildable. It has a little bit less coverage than her original foundation, which I do like, but it does give you a nice flawless finish anyway. It's just a little bit more natural looking than the other one, and I really, really enjoy that. It is a little bit thicker but it doesn't feel heavy or thick on the skin and I personally prefer it with a beauty blender hands down like a hundred percent it's just so much easier to blend into the skin I love the finish I definitely prefer it with a sponge and yeah I really like it so far so good it is completely scentless by the way which I do appreciate and I do think it made my skin look really nice obviously I've only had this on for like about an hour now it's something I have to test out more but so far so good I think my skin looks really nice oh crap I just noticed on the side of the box it says it's waterproof I had no idea it was a waterproof foundation. Damn, I kind of like that, I kind of like that. I'll see if it can withstand my tears next time I'm watching Netflix. 
Okay, the main reason, the main reason why I even participated in the VIB sales because I wanted this. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Celestial Divinity Lux Quad, and this one specifically is called Interstellar Icon. I wanted to buy both of them. There is a more pinkier version, but I really, really liked this one, and I thought, Kathleen, you don't need both. So I picked out the one that I thought I would use the most, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Every time you look at a Pat McGrath palette, you might think, oh, it's nice, nothing out of this world, sure. Like, in terms of colors, right? But let me tell you, the experience in using a Pat McGrath eyeshadow is unlike any other experience out there. She has one of the best formulas of eyeshadow on the market, hands down. Her finishes are so beautiful. Her shimmery shadows are just so reflective and insane. Like, they just shine on your lid. I'm wearing this quad on my eyes right now. The only color I'm not wearing is the blue one, but I have all the other ones on my eyes. And you barely have to put your finger in this product to get a super foiled, intense, metallic glow on the eyes. They're so incredible. Even this shade, Divine Dahlia, it's more of like a natural looking metallic, but it's so, so pretty. I love these eyeshadows so much. I was not disappointed at all. They're just so perfect and you don't even have to wet them to get like a beautiful wet looking look. They're so worth the money in my opinion. So worth the money. Okay, and then I bought two face powders and one of them, I have no idea why I bought it. Let's start there. So I think I was drawn in by the packaging. I think I was under the impression that this is a brand new product from NARS, but it's actually a product that's been around for a long time, just in limited edition packaging. So, my fault. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder, the pressed one in translucent crystal. I've used this on my channel. I think I have it. I think I still have it in my powder drawer, although I might be wrong. I'm not sure, I might have given it away. But this is what it looks like. Really pretty holiday packaging, but it's basically their like translucent, barely their powder. I'm sure you've seen it before. It has a very invisible look to the skin, but because it has those micro reflex in the powder, you can kind of see it when you're setting your under eyes. That area looks a little bit reflective I mean it's set and it's matte, but there's a little shine to it I'm not sure if you can tell like in the demo, but there is a barely there sheen and honestly I think it does look really nice These are not the best powders to use like in flash photography, but they're so light. It's not heavy at all I think you would like it if you have dry skin because it's a very very like barely there powder But it sets the skin like it does what it's supposed to do and yeah, um, you know I'm glad I have it again. <laughs> and then this powder I was super excited for. So this is the one size ultimate setting powder, but this is the mini version. They have the full size or the mini, and I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, so I picked up the mini. And this is in the shade Translucent. It's just, you know, translucent powder. I love this packaging, by the way. I'm obsessed with pink and red. That combo is everything. And it's like a really nice, like soft touch packaging. I, I really like it. But I was super excited to try this out because I know Patrick Starr is very serious about his setting powders and very picky, especially when it comes to baking. Like we know Patrick Starr knows a good powder when it comes to that, when it comes to that glam makeup. So this is a super fine 14 hour long wear blurring setting powder made for a light bake or a heavy cake. <laughs> and it's supposed to give the skin a soft matte finish with absolutely no flashback. And instantly when I applied this to my under eyes, you see how quickly it like blurs the skin, it mattified my under eyes, it filled in my pores, and it looked flawless. Like this makes your skin look Flawless. It's definitely a bit more heavy than the NARS one and you can see like side by side when I'm applying it that the NARS side looks a little bit lighter and not as matte or not as flawless. It looks a little bit more natural so it honestly depends on what you're looking for. I think both are really good. I was super super impressed with the way this made my skin look overall like it's just extremely smoothing but it also doesn't look cakey and I have a very dry skin like my under eyes are always crepey looking these days and it honestly doesn't look that way at all. I'm very, very impressed with this powder. I'm definitely glad I picked it up, but we are almost done. We just have one more product to talk about. Why am I putting it back in this box? I don't know. I picked up a gloss from Makeup by Mario. How do you guys feel about Makeup by Mario? Because I see a lot of negative reviews online and it's kind of like hit or miss for me, but I kind of expected to love Makeup by Mario. I don't know, how do you guys feel? I picked up this gloss and I actually, I, I really like it. It feels really nice. I like the color. This is the Pro Volume Lip Gloss in the shade Golden Nude. It's a really pretty warm nude that has like a golden sheen to it. Really nice. Pretty standard. Not too sticky. It's very comfortable. I really like it. That completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you picked up from the VIB sale. If there's anything I need, leave it down below and I'll go check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!